Hi, I'm Bill Buther, and I'm a photographer who loves taking artistic pictures. I'd like to show you how adjusting aperture and shutter speed can add artistry to photographs. Aperture refers to the size of the opening in the lens. Large openings take in more light, but less of the image will be in focus. So, when I want everything to be in focus, I use a mid-range aperture. This is the setting I use for landscapes, such as this one I shot in Medina County. Here, I wanted to capture both the beauty and the sense of peril found in Nevada's Valley of Fire. This is one of my favorite photographs. It shows the sewing spaces within the famous Frauenkirch in Dresden, Germany. If you want to focus on a subject within your photograph, use a larger aperture to narrow the zone that's in focus. This is a senior picture I took at Plum Creek, and as you can see, the subject is very apparent. You can look at the background and it adds interest, but your eye keeps returning to the subject because it's in focus. This is a perfect example of a photo made more artistic through the use of selective focus. Again, my subject is in focus, the background is not, so there's nothing to distract the viewer. I shot this at a porch rocker festival in Akron. I defocused both the foreground and the background, leaving only the harmonica man in focus. Now let's see what happens if you make the lens opening very small. This softens the overall focus, but you get a beautiful starburst around points of light. I absolutely love this effect. It adds so much interest to the image, and it gives everything a kind of old-time feel. And you don't have to do this at night. This was taken during the daytime in Peninsula. You can even use remotely controlled flash, as I did at this Halloween wedding, where all the guests were properly dressed at the reception. In addition to aperture, you can also adjust shutter speed for artistic effect. Normally, you want a shutter speed fast enough to freeze the action. But you can use a slow shutter speed with a tripod. This technique is often used with moving water to give it a very different look and feel. I took this shot of a drummer at a music fest in Medina. I wanted a sense of motion, so I used a shutter speed that was fast enough to freeze his head, but slow enough to blur his arms and the drumsticks. You can also pan your camera or move it from side to side with a slow shutter speed to show motion blur. Here, I held the camera as steadily as I could during a time exposure, but I moved it enough to create this beautiful abstract. This is the same scene, but here I panned the camera to give a different kind of abstract. You can rotate the camera in a time exposure or zoom in or out to get abstracts like these. As you have seen, playing with aperture and shutter speed can definitely make images more artistic. There are great shots everywhere and it's a real joy to find and photograph them. If you have any questions or just want to talk about photography, please call or text me at 216-213-5258 or email me at billbuther at gmail.com. Thank you and have a great day.